Keeping venomous reptiles is an unforgiving hobby, requiring proper training and lots of experience. One simple mistake can be the difference between life and death. death, death. Remember, the most venomous snake in the world oh, is the whoa. one that just bit you. There are no venomous snakes with training wheels. Just because you see Viper Keeper handle snakes a certain way does not mean you should try it too. Now hopefully uh, the camera doesn't disturb her. But this is the Naya Christii or Christie's Water Cobra. Uh, she just fished this fish out of her water bowl and I pulled her out of her uh, tub so you guys could get a better view. Now yes, I feel bad for the fish, but um, this is, you know, uh, this is live feeding, but uh, uh, everybody has seen a, a fish flopping around and that's basically all you see until the venom takes effect. It's not like watching a rat or a mouse uh, bleeding and, and doing all sorts of uh, uh, things in its death throes. Uh, so you guys get to watch this. This is their natural prey and uh, we'll continue feeding her for a while until she gets uh, really really good at uh, fishing and uh, then what we'll do is uh, I'll uh, scent uh, the fish, uh, the pinkies with fish, and then get her to start eating uh, pinkies. And then once she gets going on some pinkies, uh, she's an incredible lightweight critter right now, and I'm really hesitant in giving her any uh, worming medi medication, and it's sort of futile. Uh, until she's not eating fish anymore because these are live fish. They probably have parasites in their digestive tract. Uh, so, uh, you know, giving the anti-parasitic uh, drugs uh, is sort of a futile and risky thing to do um, when you're introducing the drug you're killing the parasites off and then you're introducing new ones and fresh ones when uh, uh, you feed the snake fish again so I won't do uh, any of the anti-parasitics until until she's uh, weaned from uh, from fish And don't that's right pick it up don't be eating the uh, there you go don't be eating the uh, blue towel
Now, so far, she's only eaten them one at a time. I'm hoping this morning I can get her to, uh, to eat the second one. Uh, she's probably got room for three or four fish in there at a time, probably, comfortably. Uh, and that's the goal. Uh, get... Uh, Get three or four fish in there at a, at a time and, uh, uh, you know, get her to grow and stuff. I, I promised uh, Wolfgang uh, a shedding, uh, but until, uh, uh, you know, she actually uh, sheds, uh, you know, it's, uh, I can't give him a shed. Hi, right, was that tasty, huh? Would you like to try one on the on the cloth, huh? Would you like to try one on the cloth? Here, let's uh, back off. Okay, here's our unwilling participant in this feeding exercise. Come on. Sorry, fish, but this is uh, this is the way it goes, huh? Here. There you go. Come on. Come on, over here. Come on. Here. Here. Here's your minnow. Come on. Have your minnow. Want another minnow? You want another minnow? Uh oh, we got a mouth open. Here, come on. Come on. Ah! You almost got my finger. I shouldn't be doing this, but fish are just tough to hold on to. Come on. Here, here's your fish. Come on. Come on. There you go. One fish, two fish. There you go. What a champ. What a champ. Unfortunately, I don't have any more for you right now, but uh, that's okay. You can work on digesting those two little blighters and uh, who gladly sacrificed their life for yours. And uh, and you can just settle down in your tub and uh, relax and, and digest. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to gently pick the little blighter up. Come on. Don't be afraid. There you go. You're home. Hi there, young lady. This is Christie's water cobra. Beautiful little gal. This is Viper Keeper. Just went to get some fish for her. Hello. Oh, she's being an actual cobra. It's the first I've seen that. Except when I when the fish snip smacked her in the face. fish. Come on. Come here, get some fish. Come on. Here you go. Come on. God, she's adorable. Come on. Yep, one of the fish flopped out. sweetie. Come on. You're okay. Here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Relax. We got fish. There you go. Come on. Oh boy. Did 
did, the other ones became pretty still pretty quick. <laughs> You know, it's hard to say. Um, you know, okay, it's probably f somewhat fish specific, but, you know, you can only think that, you know, living in a particular area that they became, uh, you know, they honed their venom over time to the type of fish they were uh, mostly feeding on. So, uh, you know, is it a fish toxin? Yeah, probably. Uh, is it uh, specific for a kind of fish? It could be. Now, I don't know if she's waiting because she senses the fish is not quite uh, subdued enough or she's weirded out with the camera. Yeah, I'm sure the camera's probably got her a little bit freaked out. Well, let me back the camera off and see if that changes what she's up to. That's, that's a leftover tag from the Congo water culbra, even though that's not its assigned uh, species. It isn't going to be a nausea. Uh, they just haven't uh, given it a species name yet, and I'm not the hoser from down under, and I don't go assigning names. Uh, I just did this out of convenience, uh, rather than say nausea species. Since it's from the Congo, I figured uh, why not call it the Congo Lessons. Okay, I think she's going to start to feed. Or finish feeding, or whatever you want to call it. Like a boss. Munch, munch, munch. Down it goes. You know, fact that it's slippery and slimy, I mean, really sort of facilitates the, uh, the eating process. When going down a hole, lubrication always helps. Yeah, it helps when. You know, they're both uh, self-lubricating, so to speak. Okay, how was that, miss? Huh? Oh, she keeps eating at that rate. She's going to be all grown up real quick.
You want another, huh? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on up here. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's silvery, so I'm going to follow that. Hey. Nope, went right over it. Well, she's always eating them. Huh? They're never there when I come back, so she will find come them. Come on. When she's ready. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hey. Come on. Paper keeper, you're bothering me. Come on. She only wants one at a time. I hate to leave the fish in there overnight because there's not going to be enough oxygen. They're going to be dead. So let's uh, let's retrieve the fish. Here you can get them out. Okay. Good night, girly. Well, these guys are very easy to disturb, uh, but these guys, uh, the male has finally figured out that, hmm, that's a female and I should uh, copulate with her. I don't know if he's uh, hooked up or not uh, yet, but uh, the female has... Uh, it's produced unfertilized egg before, uh, but now there's an actual male in with her, so maybe we get some baby uh, uh, common brown snakes. Oh, joy. Certainly one of the most lethal snakes on the planet, and we need more of them. Well, get it together, bud. Little Eastern Brown breeding action here on Fast and Furious Friday. And he's got the idea, but she's not uh, raising her tail and opening her vent. Uh, but he's uh, he's working at it. Now, a couple years ago, she threw a bunch of slugs, so I know she's fertile. And, you know, he's been in there a couple years, uh, ever since that uh, clutch of slugs were uh, popped out. Uh, and this is the first year that he's sort of uh, decided that, oh, this is what I'm supposed to do. But I don't think he would have done that unless the female was giving off the proper pheromones. Uh, otherwise... You know, female eastern browns would, would make dinner of a another snake, uh, even another eastern brown. Oh boy, he's really going at it now. Oh, look at him go. Go, Junior. And she's over here like, get me the hell out of here. Look at those two. 
It's a girl, you dummy. You're supposed to screw her. Not play combat. My goodness. Now, did you ever see male combat over food? This is definitely a male and a female, Eastern Brown, and they're engaged in male combat over food. Uh, which they do on a regular basis. You know, they get each other all wrapped and tied up uh, like crazy. Uh, they're really, uh, really significantly into it considering their uh, potential mates. Now, I just made the uh, breakthrough today and have them, they decided that they're going to feed on chicks. Uh, which is good because I don't have to live feed and managing dead feeding is a hell of a lot easier. Uh, although <laughs> easier and uh, Eastern Browns just don't normally go together in the same sentence. But it's working at the moment. Hey, where are you two guys going? You're not going out for a walk. Here. Do you want that to eat? Huh? How about you? Huh? Huh? <laughs> Come on. In you go. If you're not going to eat, in you go. Come on. Get it. There you go. Come here, you little springy thing. As soon as I open that, he's going down there. This is so difficult to do with one hand. Leave her alone. Yeah, there you go. Come on. Come on, get it, get it, get it. And the combat continues. Whoa! 